Hello there, Taurus. Thank you for stopping by for your Tarot Weekly Forecast for the week of January 18th through the 24th. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that I do have some mentoring sessions still coming up. And if you're interested in being a part of a group mentoring session that's designed to help you expand your own psychic abilities, no matter what level you are at right now, feel free to contact me and we can get you into one of those um, group mentoring sessions. Okay, so that is that. Let's get started with your reading, Taurus. What we have coming up for Monday is we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is just telling me this is somebody that you're interacting with on Monday. Generally, this person comes in as like a boss or a supervisor, some kind of authority figure. Um, this could even be an authority figure in your family, but generally I have them coming in as like a teacher, a boss, a supervisor, something like that. And um, I feel like you're going to be interacting with them. I feel like some of you are going to be um, having some kind of performance review, whether if you're a student, that could be... Um, you're discussing your results of a test, or if that is at work, this might be, um, you know, discussing your work performance, what can be improved, what's great, what have you advanced in, um, you know, what does it look like for you to be able to get a raise based on your work performance. That type of stuff can be a discussion that comes up for you on Monday, Taurus. For those of you who I'm also getting, sorry, <laughs> not moving on yet. Those of you who own your own business, this can also be talking to a new client about um, something, about things that you could do for them that would be a service to them and helpful for them, and um, whether or not um, they are interested in um, making you a part of their process, okay? All right, so that's Monday. So Tuesday, Six of Swords showing up in reverse. This is talking about some kind of lifestyle change. I'm hearing the word health, so I'm going to say it definitely does have to do with your health. This could be changing your diet, changing your exercise pattern. This can be um, paying more attention to the things that you allow to come into your body. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can do things. Um, that our lifestyle changes to improve our health. And so I feel like this will manifest in different ways for different ones of you, Taurus. I am hearing for some of you, this might be like the first time you go to um, like maybe an Overeaters Anonymous meeting or uh, some kind of 12-step program. This may be the first time you go to a meeting. Uh, but this is definitely something changing about your lifestyle. You've decided, you know, um, I'm just kind of fed up with things the way they are. Something has to give here, and so you're taking some action. Now, moving on to Wednesday. Taurus, you have the Ten of Coins. This is really a great card, and this talks about security being in a very secure situation. In fact, it talks about the end of a cycle that has to do with security. So you're taking that next step because the 10 is the end, but also when you reduce it down in numerology, it's also a one, which is the beginning. So a 10 is a combination of the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, kind of coming in, holding hands together. So this could be, um, this could be that you have developed a company to the point where you have done everything you can with it and now you want to move on and uh, to bigger and greener pastures and so now you're selling this company. So selling the company, ending one cycle, moving on to bigger and greener pastures, starting that next cycle. Um, this can also be um, bringing a baby home. That's a lot of people see that as security adding to the family. So it's the end of the phase of life as we knew it before baby and the beginning of the phase of life as we know it after baby. And that's I know that you guys, uh, whenever people bring home that first baby, there's a huge change. But guess what? When you bring home the next baby, there's a huge change there too. Maybe you're kind of used to the routine of having a little one around, but still you had this family dynamic of you and baby or you and spouse and baby. And now it's, it's you and spouse and baby or you and baby and the new baby. So there's some big changes there too. So that can also be um, indicated on a Ten of Cups. That would be going from the old um, phase in security to the next phase in security. Um, what else can this be? This can be adding on to your home. 
This can be doing updates, remodels, repairs. This can be adding on another room. A lot of different ways that this can actually come in, but it has to do with security for you and it has to do with taking that next step of security and stability. Now, let's move on to Thursday. Here what we have is the King of Cups in reverse for you, Taurus. And the King of Cups in reverse is just telling me that you are going to be interacting with someone on Thursday who um, for most of you will be male, but not for all of you. I never nail down genders on a general reading, which is what this is. Um, so you're going to be interacting with somebody who is um, really pouring out their feelings to you. I feel like he's going to be feeling very emotional. I feel like this person may be crying. I feel like they may be crying um, in a good way. Not like crying and screaming, but like crying just because they're so overwhelmed with how they're feeling. So um, this could be actually crying about something good. This could be, you know, this can also be crying about something that's not good as well. I think it's going to manifest different ways for different ones of you Tauruses. But... King of Cups in reverse, you're dealing with somebody who is feeling emotional and who is sharing their feelings on Thursday. Now on Friday, what we have coming up for you, Taurus, is we have the Strength card in reverse. And the Strength card in reverse is just telling me that on Friday, um, you're kind of kicking yourself in the butt. There's something that has happened that you're just not sure you handled it the best way and and in fact, I think that saying that you're kicking yourself in the butt is kind of a strong statement. I think it may be more along the lines of um, just having those self-doubts, um, just kind of questioning, you know, did I really do the right thing? Did I have the right motivation? Was I really doing the best that I could do? Is this the best choice that I could have made? Those types of things going on in your head on Friday. So, you know, obviously you want to get some kind of resolution to those as quickly as possible so you can let whatever happened rest, put it to bed, and move forward. Okay, so Saturday, Knight of Clubs is what we have showing up here for you. And the Knight of Clubs is just telling me that on Saturday, um, you are taking some kind of inspired action, something that you feel really great about. Um, this can be doing something that you're passionate about. This can be a hobby that you really love. This can be an outdoor activity that you really love. This can be fixing up the house and you're really enjoying actually doing that project. Uh, but definitely some kind of inspired action going on with you on Saturday, Taurus. So that's a nice thing to see, actually. And then on Sunday, what we have coming up for you is we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is just telling me that, um, I really think it's actually tied into our Friday card. Friday, we're kind of where you guys were kind of questioning yourselves and your motives and your choices. I think whenever we see this Five of Cups on Saturday, I feel like you're kind of getting your stuff together. You're sort of um, picking up the pieces of whatever that was that happened. You are making peace with the decisions that you made and the way that you handled the situation. And you are moving forward, moving forward with it. So you're letting, you're letting whatever it was that you were questioning, you're just letting that go and you're moving forward on Sunday. So that's a really nice card to see come up for you after that strength and reversed on Friday. Glad to see that. Okay, so Taurus, that is your week. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out, liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on my video. I do appreciate all your support. I just want to tell you I have immensely enjoyed all the mentoring sessions I've been getting to do lately. Looking forward to meeting more of you in those. And of course, I always love doing my readings, love to meet all the fantastic people out there. So thank you all for your support. Everyone have an absolutely fantastic week. I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out.